Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV with me, Get Daved. All right, I did a little bit of grinding off camera, not a ton, probably about I don't know three or four minutes of it, enough time for a video to encode, and uh, the last episode, as a matter of fact. But I entered an encounter with a couple new enemies, so I wanted to show you that. And this is actually a good chance to show off Crackle, which is quite strong. Yeah, I talked about how good it was. It costs 5 MP. Good stat bonuses for Elena there. And we get good money out of this fight too, which is why it's so great. And Boria can pretty much just kill everyone instantly. He's been getting some good level ups as well. Lots of MP. And you're already acquainted with these guys. But they're all dead now. Alright, we still have a little bit of money out, uh, money needs outstanding, so I'm probably going to off-camera a little bit more here. Alright, welcome back everybody. I think we've got enough money now, so I'm going to continue on with the LP here. 1604. Plenty of cash. I am going to stay at it in. Technically we only need Elena to have a all of her stats back, but we'll just be thorough here. Yes, I feel fantastic. Alright, so what we want to do is organize our items first things. First. If you want to make your life this was a tip for uh, the NES version, but give Boria the Thief's Key for no reason whatsoever. Okay, next up, we want to give all of our medicinal herbs to Elena. This will take a minute. There we go. And we're going to want to buy a couple more for her, but that's beside the point. Also, I'm going to save real quick for no reason. We need to participate in the tourney. Uh, you get unlimited chances at it. And we're on level 13 now, which is a really good level, even considering the fact that we haven't used any of those seeds of strength or anything on Elena. Off camera, um, between when I started this video and when I started recording again, I encountered uh, another metal slime, which Kirol, um got a critical hit against, and so he did 63 damage. In case you haven't noticed, you can only do 1 or 0 damage to a Metal Slime. If you have the Liquid Metal Sword, you can do 2 damage. But, uh, that's a few videos away, to say the least. Oops. Yeah, there's a passageway between those two areas, but it's locked with the Magic Key, which is the upgrade of the Thief's Key. There's three keys in pretty much every Dragon Quest game, and the Thief's Key is always the first. Good luck in the tournament, in she goes. Yep. Before you talk to anyone, you really should just come straight here and buy the Iron Claw, because it's a lot stronger. Nice 18 point bonus. You bet. Yep. A crap ton of medicinal herbs. In the original game, Elena could only hold... He had an 8 item limit on a character, so once you include her pieces of equipment, she could only hold 5 medicinal herbs. We'll put that in Boria's inventory, I guess. If there's any expensive stuff, there's some value in putting in Boria's inventory. It would technically be better if I loaded up on even more medicinal herbs, but I think 7 will probably be enough. We're on level 13. It'll be enough. Oh yeah, I should have used this in the last video. Anyone cowering in the well? No. An expensive inn, I believe? Oh, average price. Nice. 
because I haven't gotten far enough to face him. And an in one where, where we can save. Uh, the fact that the item shop barely sells anything other than medicinal herbs. There's an inn in here, a place to save. And that sets the tone quite nicely. In we go! And yes, this is just Elena participating, in case that wasn't clear. Which is odd, because Kirill probably would do the best at this point in the game. Since, you know, he can heal himself. But Elena's got a wicked attack power now, so... Attila the Hunk. I believe he was just called Hun in the original. And these are pretty straightforward. Not too much strategy, just might against might. Kinda too bad we didn't get him in four, three attacks, but... At the end of every round, you get a chance to use a medicinal herb. Uh, we're down 30 hit points, so might as well use one. No. Quick draw Magor. He was just called Rorik in the original. It's quick with a hunting bow. You'll notice if you use the hunting bow in battle, yeah, it says that. Oh, you shouldn't have defended. Yeah, it gives you a slightly different attack if you use it as an item. There's five rounds to this. Probably round four is the hardest. 28 hit points. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna do some micro-efficiency. Prima Donna. Vivian in the original. She's got some magics. Not many, and once her magics are gone... Okay, maybe I should use the medicinal herb. OR NOT! Well, that went unusually well. Although Elena has a really high critical hit rate, so... Now that we've isolated to just her, like, one in four attacks is gonna be critical. Uh, and in this one, yeah, I'm gonna use one more. You bet. Samson Knight. It was just Samson in the original. Ah, <laughs> Samson Knight. I get it. Classic Dragon Quest. So, if it's not apparent, playing shot for shot, he actually has more firepower than Elena does. She's faster, and yet he can get critical hits too, so that's pretty horrible. And this is basically what you need all of your medicinal herbs for. One full round of healing, get Elena back up to close to full strength, and then we do it all again. A critical hit in this fight means a lot more than the others. That was essentially what would happen if Elena and Ragnar fought. As the game goes on, it, it would favor Elena more and more, but in these early goings, good equipment means a lot. Yes. And that's good enough. This next guy probably killed me the most as a child of all of the opponents. The Abominable Showman. He doesn't have that many hit points. What do you think? I guess we could abuse save states, but that's sort of defeating the purpose. Okay, we missed him. It was number D. Letter D. Uh, B again. Yeah! Okay, you just gotta do that a couple more times. I also remember one time I got a critical hit on the first round of this. I don't think it was enough to kill him, but it was nice. We're at 2 out of 3, that's nice. And I got a feeling about A. It hasn't been C yet. The thing is, there's no real logic to picking a target. The odds are 1 in 4 no matter how it goes, unless you understand how the random number generator works. Dang it! But, uh, you know, you might as well have some fun with it. A for Alpha Dog. 
D for Delta Dog. <laughs> Too bad, I was probably gonna go with D. That would have changed the random number generator though. D until the end, everybody. Kill one, they all die. Alright, that leaves Pissarro the Manslayer. How many medicinal herbs we got? Yeah, I only need one. Victory by default! 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 Good work, everyone! Hardiest congratulations ever. <laughs> you were paramount. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Don't you tell me what to do. I am free. Oh, don't you? Oh, oh my! <laughs> I'm progressive. <laughs> it appears the game made the same joke I was going for. Or at least hinted <laughs> at. Oh, I. Okay, fine. You're just saying the same thing. Endor is sort of England. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you can have some fun running around talking to everybody. Well, thank you. Where's the happy music? There it is! The happy music's back, everyone. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to read the sign back when it said the tourney was ongoing. Uh, let's see what caused that mysterious death of our friend here. To the Moksva. Odd, no music. And no people. That door is locked with the magic key, by the way. Hello? This creeped me right out as a kid. Respond me. What about the old guy who lives out back? Nope. Where did everyone go? Yeah, right after his apocalyptic dream. Kind of an interesting and bittersweet ending to Elena's journey. Makes you glad she wasn't home, though. You bet. Alright, everybody, thanks for watching Chapter 2. Next time we'll be on Chapter 3, which is... It's got a little bit of grinding to it, but not in the traditional sense. It's going to be kind of interesting, and if uh, you're not familiar with what's coming up, it's going to blow your mind, because there really isn't a segment like this in any other game that I know of. So uh, we're in for a real treat. Also, get ready for the fattest hero of all time. I'll see you next time, everybody.